In this presentation, let us go through the design of oxidation port and aerated lagoon. For the hot climate residential colony, we have to design. So, considering we have obtained as 0.6 MLD, that is 6 into 10 raised to 5 liters. If you want to convert it into meter cube divided by 1000. So, here we will be getting that quantity of sewage. If you want to convert it in, um, in terms of meters, we will be getting around 600 meter cube. So, substitute the value of 600 here. So, sewage flow in meter cube will be 600. So, detention time T equals 7260 divided by 600. You will be getting 12.1 days. So, that is the detention time we have to provide for the oxidation port. And the, for the overall depth, in addition to this effective depth, we have to provide the free board. And for the oxidation port, it is already given in the design criteria. You have to provide the free board as 1 meter. So, total depth will be 1.2 plus 1 meter, that is 2.2 meter. Therefore, we can give the size of the oxidation pond as 110 meter, that is a length. 55 meter is the breadth or the width by 2.2 meter is the overall depth of the pond. So, this is the design of the oxidation pond.